Hello there. I'm just going to make a very short video today and uh, tell you a little bit about company pages, which is something I've been doing quite a bit on in the last few weeks. And um, they're a real powerful add on, totally free with your LinkedIn profile. Um, um, and something that people seem not to uh, take as much advantage of as they could do. So um, I suppose that's possibly not unusual in that a lot of people don't completely fill out their profiles um, but to move on to the company pages is um, a good way of getting your message out to people that are interested in what you do so here you can see my profile uh, which for dojo there's nothing associated but with for example where I'm the business development work that I do with fluid construction um, to the right of it you'll see there's a little uh, icon which if you hover over the icon tells you there's a company page for that company. Now a little while ago that didn't look quite the same as it did and if I click on that icon it will indeed take me through to Fluid's company page which is a very recent uh, addition uh, but gives some information and more importantly gives some various links to their web territory. Now I'll go into that in a little bit more detail soon. Um, now just want to take a quick look at some other um, alternatives about where people uh, just to give you an idea about the spread of how you get because of clearly you get one extreme of, of the spectrum to another quite commonly with these sort of things. So here is a company called Krona Consulting which I um, sort of one that I found a little bit earlier on and Krona obviously uh, when you look at it are probably not doing themselves the best favour in the book by the amount of information that they're putting on their company page you can see here they've got 189 people that are interested to find out about more about Krona Consulting uh, clearly they're not getting an awful lot of information and when you look to the product page uh, once again which is uh, a second tab in there's nothing there at all uh, to actually find out what Krona are about, you would have to click over here and go and look at um, the profile of one of their members of staff. And in this case, it's your that we're looking at. Um, and you find out that he's the corporate business development executive at Krona, a Walters Kluwer's business. But that still doesn't actually tell you um, what they're all about. So we have to travel down the page a bit. And there's a little bit about um, your himself there, which is fair enough. Um, and it isn't until we get down to here that you find that Krona is a proactive and comprehensive service uh, that is the UK's leading provider of workplace advice, information and software. It's served the HR, health and safety and business professionals since 1948, which sort of makes you wonder really why they didn't put that here and link back to their websites and various things. So let's just go and have a look at another end of this extreme and um, look at a company called CEB, Talent Measurement Solutions. Now, um, CEB are a global organization uh, that provide business services. And effectively, they're a consultancy organization for major global corporations around the world with 10,300 followers um, and uh, a number of other interesting elements to them. So CEB fill out all their documentation they put their products in place uh, and it's altogether a very very tidy site of some significant scale i'm not actually sure that this is the one i was planning to show you that i think this is actually a sub uh, plot hang on a second so this is the other CEB page, which is their main page, which has actually got 30,000 followers. So you can imagine that once you post an update in this section of your company page, it is automatically going to 34,000, sorry, 30,400, nearly 30,500 people and will show on all their profiles. They have 4,840 people on LinkedIn. You can see this is a rather large organization and they are putting interesting content and useful content on their site. Uh, the previous site I showed you came from some of their sub companies and affiliated companies. So they are really are taking LinkedIn to the maximum here. They're a bit of an extremity and they've invested a lot of time and effort. They have their own groups. They have their own executive members and different private groups as well. And they are linked to a number of other organizations. 
and we can go all the way down the bottom and one of the slightly annoying features of LinkedIn is that on occasion sometimes when they have more updates these just keep flicking on it, it takes a while to get to the bottom but down here they've got a quite a wide base of information on um, their business and where they are including web links to their company so look that's another extreme but let's get let's hit somewhere in the middle and show you a little bit of a difference that this can make so I mentioned before that I do some work for Fluid and um, recently we've been working on our company page and I just wanted to share with you the detail of this now here's an interesting point because before we um, activated our company page in, in any reasonable format if we put the word the company's called fluid design and construction so if I simply put the word fluid in search what I can tell you is a month or so ago absolutely nothing would have come up but when you click on the um, the search um, option now and we look down the page well look what starts to happen because we've optimized our company page one at one point straight away the um, the people who represent the company come up which is myself and David and then here we are page one fluid design and construction limited we are there we're, we're in play and we're on the first page for temporary structures which is key words that are uh, um, um, important to our business and important to the people that we want to find and who we want to search for us so it's useful opportunity to put these um, kind of searchable terms in as well so let's just go and take a little bit of a closer look because I just want to fill you through some of the, the, the basics of the site um, in terms of this we, we started posting some content at the bottom of there we have fluid design and construction specialist in interior design and construction limited and temporary structure so once again the keywords are there our link to our website is there now on the right hand side here is something that is completely new it's called showcase and it allows you to put more detail about more parts of your business on to LinkedIn so for example part of our business is to do with thermal and acoustic insulation systems called tabs so if I click on this it takes us to a showcase page page for tabs thermal insulation now there's not a huge amount of information on this but you can see that um, Dave once again is associated and it links to our other pages that you can click around and go to without moving and equally back to our company page. Now what is interesting here is this tab because this is a link which is specifically associated with this page and if I click on it it will take us to the tabsuk.com thermal and acoustic um, barrier system site and not only that it takes us to the thermal insulation page so you've got a very very specific key and credible link from LinkedIn to your your page um, now we can do that in all sorts of places on a company page um, and I would advocate that it makes sense to optimize your page as best as you possibly can now at the moment tabs very low following but this is something we're going to work very very hard on in the near future to develop this following so we can start contributing content in that is viable and uh, important to our clients and our prospects so they can come and find us at our specific websites and hopefully get in contact and do business so short as this is I just want to leave you with that and just give you some ideas on the values of a LinkedIn company page um, and and what you can do within them um, just finally before I do go let's leap onto it because there is more than one tab on this page you do have an analytics set but in the middle is a product section which is yet again another area where you can get some additional benefit from your um, uh, presence on LinkedIn it allows you to uh, once again uh, demonstrate your product lines and within your product lines it will have your website and uh, clickable details to that uh, if we go back to the page one of the other uh, elements that it allows you is a banner across the top and each of these banners move and present pleasant images and different things that you can put on and uh, once again click on the banner and it takes you to where you want it to go to your website so an awful lot of opportunity within LinkedIn an awful lot of uh, areas that you can um, gain benefit from um, and it's all free you just have to fill it in and do it it's, it's not a difficult thing to do and again I believe it will make quite a bit of difference to your marketing plans and marketing progress moving forward so I hope that's been of use please do get in touch if you've got any uh, questions that you want to ask we'd be more than happy to answer them Thank you.